Hey all, thank you very much for joining me um, for this month's haul. Uh, this is some of the stuff that I bought in April and May, mostly May. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I'm a little bit late in uploading this. Uh, that seems to be a bit of a trend with the last couple of my videos, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's move on. Let's um, move on and uh, start out with some of the uh, more commonly known series. So I'll. I'll show you a mixture of Viz, Dark Horse, Vertical stuff, and then we'll get to all like the kind of Gekiga, more obscure titles I've gotten from Fanfare, Ponent, Mon, and um, uh, whatever, whatever else, um, drawn on Quarterly and a couple of other small time publishers, uh, but great publishers nonetheless. So I'll start off with something <coughs> that I've been holding off on trying to get because of the high price on it. But I finally just decided to take the plunge and um, get the final volume of Peeper Chew, uh, volume three. Uh, I read this as soon as it came in because <clears throat> Peeper Chew was on my TBR. Um, I pulled it out of my TBR and I read the first two volumes and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get the, the final volume. And I'm not sure where this is available digitally, if available at all. Um, but it is a, a really, really good three volume series. And considering how short it is. Um, he's got some really great character development. Um, this guy's an arsehole, by the way. Uh, and this guy's an even bigger arsehole. Um, you can't see the, uh, my favourite character on the cover here, but, um, this chick here, Reiko, definitely favourite character in the series. Uh, really, really well developed, uh, really good character arc for, for how short the volumes are. Um, uh, Philippe Smith does a really good job at developing her character quite early on. Um, but yeah, final volume of Peep Chew. I'm glad to say I own all of this. <clears throat> Next, um, continuation by of the uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal, Ad Full Metal Editions, Volume 7, um, which has got May, I think she's called May, if I recall, on the cover with that little panda thing. Um, the name of which escapes me, but... Yeah, um, these continue to be absolutely gorgeous releases. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a colour page probably in the front of them. Yeah, another one with May there again. May Ling or something, something she's called. She ends up getting with Alphonse, doesn't she? Uh, yeah, no, uh, I mean, I haven't read this. Um, I've read it before, but just not in this edition. So I'm looking forward to picking up all of the volumes. I think it's up to volume 13 now. So not too far off from finishing it all off. So... I'll get round to that as and when. Uh, here's a, another Junji Ito pick, uh, Venus in the Blind Spot. Uh, finally getting close to catching up with his releases. Um, all I need to get after this is Remina and uh, Love Sickness. Um, and then he's also got two more coming out, Sensor and Deserter. Uh, at some point later down this year, maybe next year. I think January next year is Deserter is coming out, I'm not too sure. Um, but this is something... I think I think this is a newer sort of um, series of his. I know, I know it's like a series of short stories. Um, but I think it's a newer series, and I think it's got a poster in it as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, if you're familiar, if you're familiar with Junji Ito, then you know what you're getting yourself into. That's actually from No Longer Human, uh, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, Junji Ito. Uh, <coughs> Next is something, uh, I've got all the volumes that are readily available. Um, this continues and completes my collection of Bukharana Hours. There's volume four, uh, volume eight, volume nine, and final two volumes, 10 and 11. So I have all of Bukharana Hours except for that enigmatic volume three. That is just so impossible to come by. I think the cheapest I saw it for was about £700. Absolutely no way I'm paying that amount for any volume of manga. Uh, no matter how great it is. Um, you know, there's, there's always a, a cap and a limit that I like to put on my spending. Um, but still, you know, I, I don't mind owning 10 out of the 11 volumes. Uh, it's very unlikely to get a reprint in the future considering how quite obscure it is, uh, but I am looking forward to reading it. Um, and I'll probably uh, check if Volume 3 is available digitally on Comixology or something, or the Viz um, 
the Viz store, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I mean, digital releases are becoming more popular nowadays. I know Real by Takahiko anyway has just got a digital release. Um, so hopefully that will set a precedent. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, <clears throat> this one, showing this one off just breaks my heart. Uh, this is something I got a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago. It's Berserk, uh, Volume 7. Uh, rest in peace to Kentaro Miura. Um, I did a tribute video for him. Uh, where I did a cover of Morbid Angel's Desolate Ways. Um, you know, if you if you feel so inclined to check that out. Uh, it's not monetized or anything, you, you know, despite it probably having adverts on it. Um, obviously, I don't own the, the song. It's not, you know, I, I didn't upload it to... I don't make, music, I don't make um, money off of any of my views anyway, but, you know, even still, uh, you know, I, I, I am quite proud of it as a tribute to one of my favourite authors. Uh, and I am still really, really sad um, that he's gone. Um, you know, that, it, it, it hit me a lot harder than I thought, than I thought it would have, um, which I which I suppose a lot of people in uh, the anime and manga community can um, can attest to. I think it really it really did. It, it, it's left a massive gaping hole um, in uh, in the in the manga industry. Uh, you know, we really have lost a titan. Um, I could go on about it all day. You know, I absolutely love Kentaro Miura's work. Uh, you know, we're we're all reeling from it. <clears throat> Anyway, moving on, uh, something that I didn't think I was going to catch up on or start collecting any more of anytime soon, uh, but I came across a really good deal on uh, on Gumtree, which I suppose is like the UK edition of, or the UK version of Craigslist over in, that you guys have over in America. Um, and I came across uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, part two, Battle Tendency. Uh, I've got all four of these volumes. Uh, so there's volume one. Um, with uh, Josie from the front and Cars, no, Santi Viento. I remember watching the anime for this, um, so I'm familiar with the story of Battle Tendency. There's Lisa Lisa on the front cover there, uh, and uh, SEDC, or ACDC. I love how like all of the um, bad guys are named after like famous bands, and or not even the bad guys. Most of the characters are named after like famous uh, artists. Uh, there's uh, Caesar Antonio Zapelli. And uh, Wamu, one of the pillar men, um, and then finally, Cars, the lead. I think he's the leader of the pillar men. It's been a long time since I've seen the anime. And then uh, Joseph on the on the front on the back cover there. These are beautiful releases. I love the I love the the green shifting from the red because it was green for the Phantom Blood arc, and now it's red for the Battle Tendency. And then I think it goes into blue for Stardust Crusaders. But yeah, uh, I picked these up for. Uh, all four of them for thirty pound, um, more or less brand new. They've only been read once, um, and I just drove up to the guy. I, I didn't even have to ask him to post them to me because he was in my area. So, um, just literally fifteen minutes in the car, um, picked him up, picked them up off him. Um, thirty quid, cannot go wrong. I could not pass up on that deal. Um, considering as well that I, you know I wasn't actually planning on getting them anytime soon. You know I had other priorities, but a deal is a deal, man. You know you come across some really good stuff on Gumtree, so. Really proud to have that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so now, so that's everything. Uh, that's all of my kind of, you know, big publisher stuff, Viz Media and Dark Horse stuff. So let's move on to the Gekiga. I'm not going to show these in any particular order, but I am going to, I'm going to give special uh, due attention to this. That is Children of Mootown. Um, this is my first ever release from Glacier Bay Books. Um, I'm very, very lucky to own this. Um, actually, it comes with a little postcard, which is well, which is pretty cool. I'm very lucky to own this is um, Glacier Bay. Um, uh, don't uh, or can't um, export to the UK uh, due to that little thing called Brexit. Um, so, uh, I'm very lucky to get a limited copy, uh, a limited um, run of these over in the UK. Um, it's a, a little known bookshop, well, comic bookshop called Igloo Books, um, like a digital only, um, like an online only um, comic book store, which I believe the I think they're based in London, but they they got a limited stock of these, uh, and I was I just literally straight away picked it up. Uh, they've got a couple more of the kind of indie uh, manga as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, it's by uh, what's it? What's the? I think it's a lady who. who writes this um masamura jushichi um 
She's also got Twitter as well. Um, what's his name? Uh, <clears throat> Uchu Shelf did a really, really good review of this. Uh, really top quality video with like really cool animation and stuff. Kind of just breaking this down. And as far as I know, um, he so far is the only one who's done a like a, a kind of review of this. Maybe she, maybe simply G. I think maybe maybe she talks about whatever streams. I don't remember. But I know Uchu Shelf has done a specific video on this. So uh, go check it out. It's really good. Uh, but I'm nevertheless looking forward to really reading this at some point. I just love the, the minimalist design of the cover. It's just so, it's just so inconspicuous. You know, you wouldn't see. It looks like just like a, you know, like a pamphlet or something. It, lo it looks really boring, but uh, apparently it's, it's really, really action, action packed, kind of like yakuza sort of storytelling and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it, uh, and I'm really happy to own it. Um, I do hope that I'm able to pick up some more Glacier Bay um, uh, publications in the, in the near future. Um, you know, based on the limited stock that we have over here in the UK. Um, and I really, really, really want to get my hands on the, the Gleolia uh, books. They just look beautiful. Um, but I think the first one is out of print, uh, so it's probably unlikely. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is a Fanfare Ponent Mon release, something that's been on my wish list for a while. And that is uh, A Patch of Dreams by uh, Hideji Oda. Um, a really nice, tall book. Um very artistic, got some like, art print on the uh, on the back there. I like those kind of things, and the artwork is just gorgeous, absolutely sublime artwork. Uh, it's, it's really kind of like a uh, almost Daisuke Igarashi sort of etchy style of artwork. Um, a really nice kind of scratchy sort of. I just love it, um, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Uh, these are still pretty much available, so uh, if you like the look of it, um, no, go and pick it up. Uh, I don't know what it's about. Uh, I think it's, uh, you can pause it there, have a read. There you go. Uh, I remember reading that and it sounded pretty interesting, uh, but it's actually escaped my memory, so I don't really know what it's about. Anyway, moving on again. Uh, my second published work by Katsumata Susumu, or Susumu Katsumata, that's a Fukushima Devilfish in this uh, iridescent green and pink cover. Uh, something else translated by Ryan Holmberg. I mean, look, at it's just so bright. I mean, I don't think the camera's doing it justice, but this is like, it's like staring into the sun. It's, it's really, really bright. And then you've got really kind of lime green, more pastel sort of cover. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's, it's, it's a, a Gekiga work. Uh, see this kind of really cool blue ink sort of artwork in the middle here, um, in the in the book here. Um, but this is one of the pioneers of Gekiga, and he's really famous for, um, uh, you know, having lots of kappa, those little um, uh, sea um, river sprite things, yokai things in his manga, or at least that's what I read from um, Red Snow, his other published work in English by uh, Drawn on Quarterly. But yeah, I'm happy to own this. Um, I would have picked it up earlier if I actually if I had actually known it was by uh, Susan Katsumata. Um, anyway, moving on again. Uh, this is uh, uh, Slum Wolf by Tadao Suge, uh, brother to Yoshihara Suge. Um, you'll have seen um, that I picked up Trash Market, which is published by Drawn and Quarterly in my last haul. Uh, this is uh, published by New York Review Comics, which is the, the same publisher that published uh, The Man Without Talent. So I'm happy to own more of their their work or their publishings and this again um you know another kind of pioneer of gekiga um very artworks very typical of the gekiga movement um very reminiscent of his brother as well uh, so again this is something i'm looking forward to reading as and when uh, i think this also has a pretty long essay in the back as uh Ryan Holmberg's published works too, because this is again published, um, not published rather, uh, translated and edited by Ryan Holmberg. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty much trying to pick up anything that he's translated. You know, they're always just just gold. Um, I think this also perhaps might be translated by Ryan Holmberg. Uh, another Seichi Hayashi work, and that's a red coloured elegy. Um, I mean, this is very, very gekiga, very. Uh, very avant-garde. Um, 
you know, uh, you, as you can see, maybe on the shelf over here, I've got uh, Gold Pollen and Other Stories, which is the first work by him that I read. And uh, last month, or maybe the month before, before I got Red Red Rock and Other Stories, this is the, um, I think I've only got one more work uh, of his released in English that I need to pick up the name of that escapes me. But um, I did try to get this in hardcover, but the hardcovers are mostly only sold used. Um, I think they're mostly out of print uh, and the only one that was readily available in, you know, like a, a new condition was this. So I just ended up getting it in, in paperback, but that's okay. I mean, it's still really high quality. Um, that's, there's some artwork if, uh, if that interests you. Sorry, but there's a bit of nudity. Um, and I think this is uh, one of his works that's actually uh, in a serialised format. So it's like a continuous story. It's not like short stories, um, but still it's supposed to be really, really weird. Thankfully, it's got an essay uh, that accompanies it, so maybe it can give us some context as to what it's about or how to interpret it. Uh, okay, and uh, two more things to show you. Um, this uh, is Comics Under Underground Japan, the first Gekiga uh, published by Blast Books that I own. I don't think I don't think Blast Books are around anymore. Um, or at least I don't think they've published any more sort of uh, underground experimental work. But um, there you go. It's just a collection of uh, of um, little short stories. I believe that were published in Garo. Um, you know, it's similarly if you've if you've read uh, Axe alternative manga, then it's just a curate collection. Um, there's some of the the names of who's featured in this. Uh, a couple of them I reckon recognize. Hideshi Hino is um, probably the most famous one on here as being one of the, you know, pioneers of horror manga or like body horror uh, manga. So, um, yeah, look forward to reading this as well. And I love the cover of just like some kid wiping his ass on money. Very cool. And uh, finally, uh, something that's been on my wish list for years, I never thought I'd be able to pick it up, but I came across a good deal on eBay. And this, by far, is the oldest published manga I now have in my collection. Um, not in terms of its original serialization, but that, that's still, uh, that title is still owned by the Mysterious Underground Men by Osama Tezuka, which was published in 1948. Uh, however, this, th 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 this is published in terms of when it was released in English, uh, and that is uh, Hotel Harbour View by uh, Natsuo Sekikawa and art by Jiro Taniguchi. Um, this is a very, very old release um, from Viz when, uh, I mean, they were still known then as uh, uh, Viz Communications. And this is under their Viz Spectrum Editions imprint, which I believe only two manga were ever released under this imprint. Now this manga, th this English, this physical book was, uh, it was published in English in October 1990. I was still shitting in nappies then, um, literally, <laughs> the year I was born. So this, physically, this book is that old. Uh, that That's when this physical book was printed. So it's now, it's a 30, 30 odd year old book and it's in really good condition. A little bit of, uh, you know, a, a little bit of tanning not tanning rather, um, bleaching on the spine, but it's kind of to be expected. Um, but that, it's in, it's in fantastic condition. Um, pages are a little bit yellowed on the top, but again, it, oops, it's a 30 year old book. Um, so yeah, uh, really, really happy, uh, owning this, another Jiro Taniguchi manga to my collection. Um, sorry again for the nudity. Um, I'll do another whole, uh, just, whenever I reach, you know, 15 or 20 volumes again. Um, I'm just kind of picking up as and when, 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 when I want to. Uh, so yeah, no, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you've picked up this month um, or in the last couple of months. Um, if you've read any of these series, uh, let me know, you know, what you think of them. I know a couple of my watchers who regularly watch my videos, um, you know, have similar interests to mine, to, to me. So I'd be interested to know your thoughts of any on any of these titles that I've picked up that I haven't read yet. Um, you know, obviously no spoilers, um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, uh, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, catch you later. Bye.